Greetings, my people, and welcome to another episode of 1111 Memories Retold. Let's continue. Fortune smiled on me, Katrin. I've made new friends, Franz and Lothar. We play cards when we have the time and talk of home often. They're good men. I have arrived now, stationed at Vimy as an engineer. Engineers can use the radios, and I will listen for news of Max every single day. We spent weeks on that boat, and it was a few weeks more before we got to Vimy. I was so excited. Hell, I was like a kid at Christmas. And with the Major looking out for me, I wouldn't have to worry about the war. I will choose. I will find out what happened to our son. I will not give up. Dear Catherine, my search for our son grows more hopeful by the day. Every day I ask the men if they have news, if somehow they have seen our boy. And today began just like any other. Well, what happened to Max? March 17. Vimy Ridge. Guten Tag, my Kameraden. Wir sind beschäftigt, Kurt. Hast du nichts zu reparieren? Hallo Kurt, wie geht's? Das schon wieder. Ich hab doch gesagt, sieht aus wie eine Uniform der zweiten Division. Ich glaube nicht, dass sie in Vimy waren, Kurt. Tut mir leid. Nicht schon wieder. Ich kann dir nicht helfen. Da hörst du eher was über Funk, Kurt. Weil ich bin deutscher Soldat. Geh weg! Geh weg! Schweigen. Geh weg! Nicht schon wieder. Ich kann dir nicht helfen. Da hörst du eher was über Funk guckt. Some think I'm I'm mad to seek the same information from the same places day after day. But persistence always pays off in the end. Katrin, for today I learned of his location. I know where Max is now. This is it, Harry. Vimy. Follow me, son. I passed through here on my way back to Canada. Hasn't changed a bit. Come. I'll show you where you can send letters home. Well, if it isn't Major Barrett, welcome back, sir. I saw you in the papers, sir. Looking sharp as ever. You're too kind. Any correspondence from Canada? Just one for uh, Harry 
Lambert. You know him? That'll be from the pretty one back home, no doubt. Here, from a Julia Taylor. Dear Harry, I still can't believe you left. Our own Harry Lambert taking photographs of the Great War. It doesn't seem real somehow. My father knows his best camera is missing. He suspects you have it, but I told him it's not in your nature to steal. I won't tell if you won't. I know you're only there to take photographs, but I do worry about you, Harry. Stay close to Major Barrett. He seems like a good man who will surely keep you safe. Please write back as soon as you receive this. Send a picture if you can. Yours sincerely, Julia. Meet me by the three artillery cannons over there. Right. I'll show you the kind of photos we need. Are you gonna reply? Folk back home love receiving pictures. Well, send a picture home to Julia. The picture you sent to Julia will affect the way she feels about you. Hmm. This is from December 1916. Well, I... I don't know. Maybe this one. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Good day, soldiers. Is that a camera? Nice. Hmm. Don't worry. She'll get your letter in a couple of weeks. Just remember to write home today. Concentrate on the little things. That's what will get you through. Thank God for the rum. <laughs> oh, a camera! Uh, excuse me, are you a photographer? Could you take my photo? My family back home would love to receive a picture of me. You're the only photographer that is. Do you mind? Mm, not at all. Thank you. Here, I found this. It's not much, but you can have it. Oh, thanks. They say the war will be over soon. They've been saying that for years. Well, I hope so. Move along, friend. Well, can I take this wine? Oh, I guess not.
Alright, let's take this. Overseas Club, India. Cultural diversity. The men brought to Europe from the Allies colonies created a mix of very different cultures. Religious practices are strong and the army tries to make sure everyone can still live in respect of their rules. For example, the Indians cannot eat beef or drink alcohol. This complicates logistics at the front. Today's cemeteries contain graves from each religion and World War I is commemorated even in small villages in India. It's good to know. One of the perks here is the wine. It's French. And bloody delicious. These barrels are full of it. All for the men at the front. Of course, there's still plenty for us here. You know what I mean? Nice. Well, what a nice view! Let's take a picture. Feel that, Harry? That rumble? That's the real war, just a few miles away. So that big bastard right there is Vimy Ridge. I can't wait to get my hands dirty and take it back from the Bosch. This will be a great picture. Front page of the Star. I can see it now. There are people you meet who change your life forever. People who, whether they know it or not, plot your life on a different course from the moment that they say hello. For me, that was the Major. I will always wonder what my life would have been like without him. Sei Dank. Das Funkgerät ist wieder kaputt. Kannst du mal nachsehen? Ja? Da kann ich dir nicht helfen, Kurt. Am besten reparierst du das Funkgerät. Ich habe gehört, die Ersatzteile wären heute Morgen gekommen. Sieh doch mal nach.
Hallo, Kurt. Ich habe einige Jungs aus dem Regiment getroffen. Es hieß, sie sollten zur Somme. Ja. The Bloody Battle of Somme. Danke, dass du den Munitionsaufzug repariert hast, Kurt. Ist so gut wie neu. Tut mir leid, Kurt. Ich weiß noch nichts Neues. Ich melde mich. Dieser Krieg ist in ein paar Monaten vorbei. Oh, I don't think so. Das ist Krieg. Guten Tag. Ich habe dir doch deine Briefe gegeben, oder? Dear Kurt, I'm troubled by the news of Max. I've wept for him so much that I feel like I have already mourned his death. I know that he may yet live, but it is so difficult not knowing. Are you certain the best course of action is going to the front yourself? I know little of these things, but the war seems so vast. Can you really hope to find Max? I understand the Waldner stubbornness, and I pray you find our boy. Be careful, Kurt. Luzi needs a father. Love, Katrin. Danke. Well, this is really emotional. Hast du etwas über Max herausgefunden, Kurt? Nein. Das wird schon. Frag dich einfach durch. Irgendjemand weiß bestimmt etwas. Und wenn du mal Karten spielen willst, bist du uns immer willkommen. Danke, mein Freund. Dein Glück wird nicht ewig anhalten. Das ist kein Glück, Franz. Was würde ich nicht für ein Bar tun? Hier findest du bestimmt keins. Und wie komme ich weg von der Front? Lass dich anschießen. Klingt schmerzhaft. Aber dann kriegst du dein Bart. Ich wäre verwundet, aber sauber. Oder du wärst tot. Auf Tod kann ich verzichten. Dann musst du halt stinken. Also stink ich. Fürs Vaterland! <lacht> Fürs Vaterland! Ach, noch einmal. Well, I'm really bad at this. Well, I'll try one more time. Never mind. Hey Kurt, gibt's was Neues? Manchmal nachts sehe ich die Glut ihrer Zigaretten. Bisher habe ich es geschafft, nicht abzudrücken. Hm, Zigaretten. Hm. 
Das ist Krieg. Wir sind deutschen Soldaten. Als ich das mal sagen würde, meine Frau fehlt mir wirklich. Ein dummer Krieg. Ich frage mich, was wohl zu Hause los ist. Ich muss heute noch nach Hause schreiben. Mach dies, mach jenes. Die Offiziere machen nie die Drecksarbeit. Hier ist es nachts so kalt. So kalt. Mein Freund.
20 January 1917. Although I have only been here for a few months, it already feels like an eternity. Each day soon becomes the next, with little difference to mark the passage of time. We wake, we work, we dig and drain the trenches, and then spend our nights watching and waiting. 27th January 1917. The trenches here are home to more rats than I have ever seen. France has a name for them. The scurrying Tommy. And he has made a hobby of killing as many as he can. France is hungry for battle. He has not yet had the opportunity to kill any Tommy. But there is no shortage of rats. The rats keep coming. 5th March 1917. I'm thankful for France and Lothar. Even should they argue like children. It is pleasant to have such friendship and support. They do their best to keep my spirit high as I search for Max. 11 March 1917. Every day I ask whoever I can if they have seen my boy yet every day it is the same faces the same answers I suspect many think I'm mad but most men here are just boys they don't have children of their own they don't know what it means to be a father Brotherhood, camaraderie is a probably the main element that preserves the mental well-being of the soldiers. The conditions of trench life create moments of perilous intimacy between the relative strangers and trigger deep friendships in the trenches. On the German side, taking photos is allowed and many of these pictures are sent home. Many returning soldiers also carry with them photographs of their dead comrades or small items belonging to them. Dieser Krieg ist in ein paar Monaten vorbei. Hallo Kurt. Heute ist Nachschub gekommen. Hier. Irgendwas Neues über Max? Nein, danke. Oh, finally. Hier ist alles im Eimer. Hmm, let's see. This is a puzzle. Hmm.
Ich weiß es nicht. This is it. I, I listened to the radio for hours before I heard. The Somme. Katrin. Our boy is at the Somme. It's many miles from here, but I will ask for a transfer. I'm sure they will understand. Recruitment always need good, patriotic pictures. We need more troops if we're going to win this thing. And they'll enlist because of your photos, son. Capture the imagination of your fellow countrymen. Stir the emotions. Hmm. Looks like there's prisoners being transferred through here. I should give them the once-over. Dismissed. I've got an idea. Follow me, it'll be fun. Well, what? Right, this is it. Jump in. I'll take you around the camp. I'm sure nice. you'll see plenty of things to photograph. I'm just Winder, by the way, but everyone here calls me Jazz. What's your name? I'm Harry. Pleased to meet you, Harry. Hey, do you like music? I have a guitar. Me and some of the others like to play. You should join us later. Do you play cards? <laughs> There's always a game going on somewhere. Sorry, I'm distracting you. You need to take your photos. I just like to make people feel welcome. Well, for an Indian, you speak a pretty good English. Never mind. Here's my unit. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. Welcome to this side of the line, Jerry. I'm Major Barrett, and I'm your new best friend. Pleased to meet you. This would make a good picture. Show everyone back home how hard we're working. <laughs> Who is this guy? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this is funny. I don't drink the wine, but it certainly keeps everyone else happy. Yeah, I like wine. Well, this is enough. Here's my unit. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. I don't drink the wine, but it certainly keeps everyone else happy. So what now? Well, I need to take some pictures. Here's my unit. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. This train here had a happy little accident. <laughs> we were laughing for days. The officers didn't find it funny, though. Well, this is a British humor. They try to be funny. 
all the time. Hmm, what's this? A prisoner. Maybe Max is here. Hmm, I wonder. This is Max. Hmm. Yes. I don't drink the wine, but it certainly keeps everyone else. Here's my unit. Most of us are from a place called Amritsar. You should visit. Well, I really like this art style. It's really cool. Hey Harry, this should make a good photo. Maybe not the kind of picture you want to send home, but it sure does tell a story. There is one more. Hmm, is there anything else? Hmm. 
strange. This would make a good picture. This would make a good picture. Show everyone back home how hard we're working. Your photos would be famous. Oh, this I is know it. it. The major had taken a chance. He could have had any photographer he wanted, but he chose me. And I was desperate not to disappoint him. Boys, listen. I really am trying to stay calm here. But you are not making this easy. Not easy at all. Oh, I need a drink. Someone keep an eye on them. We should get the prisoners a drink too. It's good karma. You know this word? Karma? It doesn't matter. You get water, I'll get food. Let's go. So they need water. Take one more picture. So I need water. Maybe Fine That's a hell of Tommy. Did he just threaten you, Harry? Hmm. We can't be having that now. Bring your camera. This may not be kind, but it is, alas, necessary. Oh no, what the hell are you doing? Come on, Harry. I don't know. Take the photo. Well, now leave us be, Harry. Now that's an order. There must be another way. But this is war, after all. Hey, Harry. I, I 
just heard my unit is heading to the front. Are you heading to the front too? <laughs> we'll have an adventure, you and I. The sun sets as I write this. It reminds me of home, of the life we once had. Every day I ask for a transfer to the Somme, to Max. Every day I'm told no. It does not work like that, Kurt, they say. I will ask again tomorrow. As the days turned into weeks, I ran out of things to photograph. I wanted to get closer to the action, to take pictures Julia would be proud of. <laughs> he might have knocked me down with a feather the day Barrett came to me and said, Harry, get your camera. We're going to the front. April 17, 1917, 19 months until peace. Well, I made mistake. That was not Max after all. So, this is all for this episode. And thanks you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Click like if you like this video. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Greetings. Bye bye.